twenty some cents for the other week as well. Um, twenty seven cents week for the other week? I thought it was because I didn't report for the next week. Well, at any time you report earnings, you have to file an additional. You have to tell us who you work for and what the reason for separation. So the week of ten four you said you worked and you reported twenty seven cents in earnings. Was the earnings incorrect? No. Um so the reason that I appealed is because I did fill out an explanation. I did fill out an explanation, I believe, that about what medium was, which is a uh, um, so how medium works is that you write an article and then based on you know view counts you can get paid a certain amount and then they deposit that amount sometime in the first week of every month but it's only once a month so obviously you're not going to get paid the next week by medium and i explained that so you made 27 cents and it's 1099 employment. Is that correct? Yep. Um, um, hold on. You know, for 27 cents, um, I almost feel like that wouldn't be frauding the government just to report a quarter, you know? And it would save you so many headaches. And so what I recommend that you do the next time you do report earnings from this, what, what did you call it, medium? Hello? Yes. Uh, did you call it medium? Is that what you called it? Yeah. Okay. What what I would recommend you do, since it's freelance work, it's 1099 work, I would just reopen your claim. Uh, do you think you'll have more work for that? I'm not really sure what you're recommending. Um... Because I just filled out some extra stuff just in case yesterday with somebody. I don't know if you see the notes. And I no longer even are putting in claims. Okay. I'm self-employed now enough that I probably wouldn't get my 344 anymore. What I said for a quarter, I almost wouldn't have reported that. I don't feel like not reporting 25 cents would fraud the unemployment system. And so, it would have prevented all of these issues. Uh, you know, you're, you're making less than a dollar, and it, it caused all of these issues. But you're saying now you're, you're re-employed, but it's self-employment. Is that correct? Yeah. So, wait. So, you're... <clears throat> So basically, what I'm hearing is either way, I could have gotten in trouble because I called in and asked many, many times and I even talked to a lawyer about it. I was like, do I really got to report, you know, 27, 7 cents? And they were like, yep, they can come get you for any income you don't report. But you're now telling me. You're, but yeah, you're. But you're now. You're telling me. Oh no, now you didn't have to. Like I feel like with what I've dealt with on the ODJFS site, had I not reported, and you guys found out, then you would have, because there are so many people in my situation that are all of a sudden being told to owe thousands of dollars right after a pandemic, and some of us don't even know why. Some people in Marine Firm don't even know why. 
I at least was given an explanation. So, so go ahead. Go ahead, more about what? Well, finish finish what what you were explaining to me. That's what it is. The system uh, for us to get unemployment is basically to set up with all these different rules and double speak on the site. So I actually found two different places that refer to what you do if you have a week of earnings, not a week of earnings. The overpayment uh, form says you know, week of earnings followed by a week not having earnings. But then the actual, I looked at the instructions on like a new like reapplication that supposedly, I guess I was actually supposed to do, which I didn't, I called in so many times and never, like I was given so many chances and because I was confused by the instructions on the site. It turns out it's a full week of earnings followed by a week of little to no earnings but yet sometimes I was told oh you know you should have filled out this new as if and some you know so there's all these different rules and it seems like the OJFS like has these different rules and then enforces at the time whichever one's more favorable to them I don't know what other governmental organization can get away with that. Anytime there's a change in your employment, then that, through this system, it goes from reporting earnings to not having earnings or to having partial earnings every week to reporting no earnings. It, it, it's a very complicated system. It's based on the Ohio Revised Code. You, you can go, the Ohio Revised Code is online. You can read it. You can read up on all of the, the different things that apply. Personally, for 27 cents, I personally, if it would have been me, I wouldn't have claimed it. That, that's what I would have done. So I, I would not have claimed twenty seven cents in self employment. So do you think that I should pay four thousand and twenty some dollars because I decided to err on the item side of honesty? I it it it's not my choice. Um I it's not my opinion. Um it will be readdressed with our uh, UCRC department, and they'll they'll reevaluate, look at the information, and then make it. So, what was the out of curiosity? What was the purpose in the Office of Legislation calling me? Because this conversation I've already had, and I'm sure there's notes in my file. Many, because many. Because you contacted your legislator and requested a contact call. That, that's why. Okay. <laughs> okay. So is, is there anything else I can help you with at this time? No, apparently not. All right. Well, you have a wonderful day. Thanks. You too. Bye. Bye-bye.